I have some Achilles issues. Oh my god, wait, I want to tell you something really quick before my camera dies. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, this one is so hot. And then she like killed me. I can't flex my foot anymore. Literally, like. I have to lift this. Mother is clearly having some issues with the pho we just bought. Anyways, hey guys, good afternoon. I went to training this morning at the main course with Rachel and we hit for a bit, but then we got kicked off because they had to clean up the courts. Actually, the doors were all locked and we had to find another way into the venue, so I thought we were kind of slick with that. Anyways, I'm playing against Michelle in the afternoon. Still have to watch her games. I still need a nap because I woke up quite early this morning. Also, yesterday, I met one of you guys. I didn't get his name, but if you're watching this, please comment down below so I know your name. He came to watch my match and support me. He came up to me after my game and said he watched me and he watches my YouTube videos and I was just like, oh my god, that's so sweet and that's so nice. It's just very heartwarming when I meet people that actually watch my videos. It's actually crazy because I never thought this many people would ever watch my videos, you know? My ankle kind of hurts today. I have some Achilles issues. Apparently this is normal, but it hurts like here when I try to like point my toe. Does that make sense? I don't know if that makes sense, but it hurts there. So my mom will put some like Asian on it later. So hopefully it'll feel better for my game. I'm just going to try my best against Michelle today. Hopefully I play well. I just want to perform well and oh my god, wait, I want to tell you something really quick before my camera dies. Yesterday during my stretching session at night, the funniest thing happened. So I walk into the gym assuming that no one would be there because you know, it was like 11 p.m. And then I walk in and there's like this Japanese player sprawled on the floor stretching and I was like, ooh, okay, I'm just going to walk by you because the gym's not that big. And then I was stretching and he was playing music when I walked in. Some like Japanese vibey, like elevator vibes music and I was just like oh okay <laughs> he stopped the music because i guess i entered the gym and he didn't want it to disrupt me i don't know so then i was gonna play music out loud and i didn't bring my airpods because i assumed that i was gonna be the only one down there but then he stopped my music for me so then i thought that my music would disrupt him so then i didn't want to play my music so then we were both just like stretching in silence and it was so 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 awkward and then and then he was doing mobility exercises as well and he was breathing so loud so it was just like him breathing super loudly and just me like stretching and it was just like a really awkward situation and it was just like weird, you know? I don't know if that was boring, but I just thought it was kind of funny. Okay, I'm gonna go eat now and then take a nap and then watch some of Michelle's matches online. And then I guess I'll update you guys after my match. Hopefully I play well. Wish me luck, everybody. Okay, I'm at dinner. I got some beef rice here with Ishika. Jenny, La Show. Like this. <laughs> this okay. is Ishika's first time eating sushi. How is it? First time trying fish. Ever? Ever. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm getting this on camera right now. <laughs> Taste me. the fish, it's actually pretty good. What do you, you rate it out of 10? Like, like a nine. <laughs> nine. How's the beef rice? It's pretty good, it's like a 10 so far. Wow. It's like a 7.5. That kind of looks not very good. It looks and like there's so much rice. It's, it's good, but it's like really salty. Okay. Hey! 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 Hey!
I'm gonna burn myself. Oh, this one is so hot. Oh, no. This one is so hot. Holy frick. Hey, no, 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 no. I rate the beef like an 8 out of 10. It's like tender, but it's not like, whoa, I'm gonna have this every day kind of vibes. Okay, okay bye. We're bye. gonna enjoy our, our TV session. Hey guys, so today is the day after my match. Uh, I played against Michelle Lee yesterday and I lost in two sets, unfortunately, 16 and 17. Um, I just came back from practice and that's why I look like this right now. Anyways, I still need to pack and get ready to leave because we we're supposed to check out like an hour ago. So about my match, I thought I didn't play like amazing, but I didn't play bad. I think I played okay. I was able to stay in a lot of the rallies with her and there were a couple really, really good rallies. And I know that if I kept that quality speed and consistency, then I would be able to have a much closer score, or even play three games or even win against her. That's just my honest opinion. I'm not trying to be cocky or anything. This just gives me more confidence because I know I can do it and I know that I'm going in the right direction. So I just need to keep training hard. Obviously she's really, really good. She's ranked 13th in the world. And the fact that I was able to actually lead in the first game, I think I was leading four or five points and then I threw the lead unfortunately because she sped up and then she started using her powerful smash. Michelle has a like crazy hard smash. It's so funny because my coach tells me to be more daring when I play so I tried flick serving a couple times because I never actually do because I feel like it's a huge risk when I flick serve. I might get a point really fast but I also might get killed really fast so I took a little risk and I flick serve once she smashed out and I was like okay let me try one more time. I flick serve again and she smashed out again and and then you know how people are always just like when something's working you should just keep doing it until it stops working so i was like okay let me try it one more time and i flicked and then she like killed me with her like very hard smash and i was like okay no more of that so then i stopped flicking also something else that i realized through this match is that when i try to change strategies it takes me a couple rallies like i know what i'm supposed to do for example at the end of the first game she started attacking smashing really hard using her half smashes slice flicks and i wasn't able to get them so to avoid losing points from that further, I should have net more and I knew that but it took me like a couple rallies to be able to implement that change if that makes sense. Like I still kept lifting and I was like, why am I lifting? Like I know I have to net. In the second game, I started netting more and obviously she's ready to speed up at the back and attack, right? So when I net, she was slower and then I got a lot of points off of that but then she started to catch on and then she started watching the net so then I had to change again but it takes me a couple points to change so I need to work on changing strategies faster so I don't have to waste those rallies if that makes sense i don't know if that was confusing to understand overall like i think i played okay but it could have been better but i'm not angry and this gives me confidence honestly which is what i need more of and you guys know that if you have watched my previous videos obviously michelle's really good and i look up to her because she's a canadian player as well and you know as canadian players we don't get much funding and support from the government so the fact that she's able to get up there and play at such a high level of play and be ranked 13th in the world is just like amazing and crazy and hopefully i will be able to be just like her one day and be able to become top 20 in the world as well also as a side note i went to the physio yesterday right before my match and you know how i told you guys about my shin issue like how it's hurting here and i couldn't flex this foot basically the physio massaged it pretty hard yesterday before my match and it made it worse like for sure because after my match i literally could not flex my foot anymore like this is my recovery scale okay it was like injury zero and then it was like improving 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 because i was using a hot compress every day and i didn't roll it anymore i didn't have anyone press on it too hard and then yesterday it just went back to zero and now i can barely flex it which is so sad now i know it's not always no pain no gain sometimes when i see physios they just touch me like they literally go like this like i don't feel like any pain i don't feel like they're massaging anything or doing anything but maybe that's for a reason because sometimes when people massage hard and it's painful it makes the injury worse so that's something that i learned because now i can't flex my foot anymore and also my ankle hurts right here on the outside like right here apparently it's just like achilles pain but like it's been a reoccurring issue like sometimes it hurts more sometimes it hurts less right now it hurts more also i would like to give a huge shout out to koyo and the stringy team at canada open because i literally came here with one single racket because i broke all my rackets right before i came here and i was gonna give them to koyo to string before I came here but then he already flew here because he's one of the official stringers for Canada Open so then I was like okay then I have no one to string my rackets and also I don't trust my stringing for tournaments so I only string my rackets for practice I literally had them string like seven eight rackets so 
thank you if you guys are watching this you guys are probably not watching this but i want to say thank you anyways i really appreciate it that's all i have to say i hope you guys oh my god my mom's blow drying her hair in the washroom just don't mind the noise okay i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog please like and subscribe if you would like to i know that more than 50 percent of you guys who watch this aren't subscribed so press the subscribe button if you want to i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i guess i'll see you guys next week bye